Hey guys, welcome to the video. My name is Steph. So we're going to cover the myths of getting rich. So this short video is going to give you a quick education in personal finance, things that I've seen that have worked for me and work for people around me that I know who have done well for themselves. So I'm going to go through the bullet points. It's actually not what you might expect. So let's just jump into it. So this is not what uh, you think. Having cash is indeed king. So this is not a silly video that tries to convince you that having extra money, having financial security is not all that life's about. Well, it isn't all that life's about, but, well, let me just read this. I'm not here to say money doesn't make you happy. It might not, but it can make life much easier if you know what you are doing. So what, is, what do I mean by the statement here? You see a lot of people, NBA basketball players, uh, professional football players, they tend to go broke within a few years of retirement. People win lotteries. A lot of them say their lives, lives become rotten after winning the lottery, and a lot of them go bankrupt within a few years. So this is in reference to when I say here, uh, if you know what you're doing. A lot of people don't understand how to handle money. It's not that complex. It, cre it requires a certain level of discipline. But for a lot of people, that discipline is lacking. That basic knowledge is lacking. I am always surprised at how financially illiterate the population is, which is no fault of, of the people out there. They're just not trained in it. They're not exposed to it. I had some of the equation when I was younger, but I had to learn a lot of it as well on my own. So let me just jump into the rest of this little article I wrote. This talk about what really means to be, this talk about what it really means to be rich. First of all, it's not an absolute dollar amount. So for example, having 10 million or 100 million does not make you rich. Not necessarily. Why? What makes you rich is how much wealth you have relative to how much you need to spend to maintain a comfortable, independent lifestyle. This number is different for everyone. You see, if you need $50,000 a year to maintain the lifestyle you like, then what's wealthy or rich for you is different from somebody who needs 100000 or needs 200000 The key point is to be financially independent, not needing to work. So wealth doesn't mean having a huge amount of money because there's been examples of superstars and rappers and uh, actors and actresses who have a, a lot of money coming in, but they're not financially independent. They spend it all. And then they're broke and they're under a lot of stress. Not a good place to be. If you make one million a year, but you need to earn that money to live, then you are not rich. If, on the other hand, you make 150 k a year but live comfortably on 50 and you invest the rest, you are actually better off than the person who made a million a year. Number two, most wealthy people get there with the following steps. This is where you want to take notes. Number one, develop high-value skills. For me, and given my experience, coding is one of the best routes, but it doesn't have to be coding could be any skill set that has a lot of demand, and the demand is also uh, matched with high payout. You can't hustle your way with low rent skills. You need to make yourself valuable. That's one of the things I see people out there on the interwebs. They talk about hustle, 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 and then they hustle with low rent skills that are not valuable. You have to develop a certain set of valuable skills, whatever they may be, for me, coding is the quickest route, but you can do a plumbing, electrician, electrician, and there's many other professions where you can make a lot of money. There's a big demand. So bottom line is you want to develop valuable skills so that you can put those skills to work for you in the marketplace and make that extra money. Point number two, you need to live below your means. Your means means how much you make. So if you make 50K a year, you don't want to spend 50K. You want to spend 40K or 30K if possible. If you make 150K a year, again, you want to spend much less than you make. Uh, for me, what I discovered back in the day, so let me give you a quick example. I figured this out uh, early on in my adult life. And when I got to the point where I was making 
much more than I needed to live on. Not that it was a huge amount of money, but I, I didn't need much to live on. I lived comfortable, very low-key lifestyle. But that allowed me to save a huge amount of money. So by the time, so when I figured out this principle, I maxed out my skills, I started making a lot more, and I just started saving like crazy. Some years, I would save as much as 80% of what I earned. That's crazy. You see, experts will tell you, financial experts will tell you, to be able to retire comfortably, you need to save 10% to 15% of your income. I think that if you're disciplined, and you put it to practice some of the steps I teach, you can get yourself saving much more than that. So instead of saving 10% a year, you can save, why not save 20? Why not save 30? Why not save 50% a year? And the basic equation I give people is that if the average person saves 10% a year, and that's amongst the elite savers, unfortunately, in five years, they save 50% of their salary. But if you're smart and you're used to this lifestyle, you level up your skills, so your salary jumps like crazy. Instead of jumping what you spend like crazy, what you do is you invest that difference. You invest all that extra cash. So instead of saving 10% of your salary a year, let's say you save 30%. So in three years, you have saved nine years worth of savings, what the average person would take to get to that amount. You see what I'm going with this? Imagine if you save 50% of your salary. In one year, you will have saved five years, half your salary, whereas the average person would, have, would take them five years to save that 50%. So imagine you do it for three years. Within three years, you're already hitting 15 years worth of salary saved up versus, uh, well, 15 years worth of salary versus the other person in five years, they've only saved five years. So you see how you can really speed ahead in terms of being able to become financially independent just by leveling up your skills, and then taking all that extra cash that you're making and not spending it. Don't live, don't increase your lifestyle. That's the big mistake. That's the trap. Point number three, you want to have no debt. Debt is evil, especially high interest debts like credit card debt, uh, debt like student loan debt. You want to get rid of as quickly as possible because that locks you in like, uh, like a slave. So you want to get rid of all your debt. And then number four, save and invest properly. Properly equals highly diversified. In terms of investing, you don't want to try to pick up the big uh, winner. You don't want to try to invest in companies you don't understand. If you look at the data, index fund, highly diversified investing is the best way to go by far. Why? Because you're going to outperform 90% of professional investors. Uh, B, it's uh, the least amount of risk. Uh, C, it's least amount of stress. And uh, number four is the least amount of work. It's, it's, it's mindless. You set it up and just let it go. And next thing you know, you have all kinds of extra capital that you wouldn't have thought possible. If you follow the above four steps, you will become wealthy far more quickly than you think. I gave you the math just before. Number three, the rare and exceptional ways that people get rich. So this is the unusual way that people get rich. Win a lottery sell their unicorn startup, invest in Bitcoin or some other lottery ticket like Gamble, inherit money from their family. 90% of wealth is lost by the third generation. Keep that in mind in terms of inheritance. Why? Because most people inherit money. It's like the same thing as people who uh, win the lottery. They don't know how to manage money. They, they, ne they didn't build it themselves, so they temp typically lose it all very quickly. So there you go. I hope you found this video useful. That is how to get rich, how to become a financially independent, what rich really means, what financially independence really means, and the simple steps it takes to get there. And I busted a couple of myths as well. So there, I hope you found this uh, information useful. And uh, there you go. Bye.